Praise the Lord and good morning everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration of Monday of fourth week of Easter. We ask the intercession of Mother Mary as we enter into the Holy Mass. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Entrance Antiphon Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Welcome this morning, Holy Eucharist. In a very special way, we remember and pray for people who are with serious sickness and illness other than COVID-19. People who have no access to the specialized doctors and the hospital and maybe for their major operations these days across the world. We remember them, their pain, and we pray for them. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace. For ages unending, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that the pagans too had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, the Jews criticized him as, and said, So you have been visiting the uncircumcised and eating with them, have you? Peter, in reply, gave them the details point by point. <clears throat> One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began, 
I fell into a trance as I was praying and I had a vision of something like a big sheet being let down from the from heaven by its four corners. This sheet reached the ground quite close to me. <clears throat> I watched it intently and saw all sorts of animals and wild bees, everything possible that could walk, crawl and fly. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And a second time the voice spoke from heaven. What God has made clean, you have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. Just at that moment, three men stopped outside the house where we were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me, and the Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well, and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house who said, Send to Joppa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I had scarcely begun to speak when the Holy Spirit came down on them in the same way as it came on us at the beginning. And I remembered that the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I realized then that God was giving them the identical thing he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and who was I to stand in God's way. This account satisfied them and they gave glory to God. God, they said, can evidently grant even the pagans the repentance that leads to life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response, my soul is thirsting for the living God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Response, my soul is thirsting for the living God. My soul is thirsting for God. The God of my life, when can I enter and see the face of God? Response, my soul is thirsting for the living God. O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Response, my soul is thirsting for the living God. And I will come to the altar of God. The God of my joy, my Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Response, my soul is thirsting for the living God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you more solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice one by one. He calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out 
his flock, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follows follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable but they fail to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands. But the sheep took no notice of them and the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The word of the Lord. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, yesterday and today almost the same or similar gospel passages where Jesus speaks, he is the shepherd and the true shepherd for his flock. And good to reflect maybe these two, three uh, verses from today's passage. I am the gate. Jesus says, I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. This is something very much uh, personally I feel and I felt so good for me when I read this passage. I am the gate. And anyone, whether you are a believer or a non-believer, anyone who comes through me will be saved. They will come in and go out through me and they will be comfortable. And also, important thing for us, they find proper pastures in their life. Which is important. We are all searching and striving, working hard for finding something good for us according to our vocation, according to our way of life. This is the only one way where we enter into the right pasture. What we need to do, we need to understand Jesus is the gate. I can go in and come out through him and I, I will be saved and I am comfortable and I am safe. I am safe. And the assurance, always there is a pasture for me if I enter through him. If I come out, go in through him, always that assurance of pasture in front of me in my vocation. Let us try because we are all waiting and searching for a right pasture where we need to walk, where we need to have our joy. It is possible only when we enter through Christ. And the opposite, Jesus himself says, anyone who comes, Jesus mentions about evil. They come only to steal, to kill and destroy. Stealing what? Stealing of your joy. Stealing of your happiness. Stealing of the warmth of your love in life, in living. Stealing and killing and destroying personal life. You know, we, we hear very much about this word nowadays, social distancing. I heard yesterday a small video, one of our priest friends from India, he, he, he noted there and he said about self-distancing. Self-distancing from wrong friends. Self-distancing from evil. Self-distancing from people who speaks always evil. Who always think negatively. 
that may not be the right gate where I or you to enter. Life is really beautiful when we enter through the gate. That gate is Jesus. Be, be assured of our pasture when we enter only through that gate. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, Work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and contrite heart, may be the accepted by you, O Lord, and may be the sacrifice. Listen to you, wash me, cleanse me. Pray, my brethren, that my sacrifice and divorce may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you and add more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever, even, ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, Every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, the will of the Father, the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood. From all my sins and from every evil, keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Dear loving children of God, this is your time for spiritual communion. Receive him spiritually when I recite this prayer. If you want to close your eyes and to have that atmosphere, you are free to do that. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my heart. Come spiritually into my soul. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Can spend some moments in thanksgiving. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord. Grant we pray that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Mary, come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary.